Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. As you can see, we are here on camera. The evil genius Garrett Amini has set us up with picture in picture and uh, we thank him for that. Along with me today, you may have noticed that uh, this is not Sam Azursky, my normal solving partner. This is Darren McCleary. He's a, a software engineer on our team. And uh, we have him on as a special guest today because number one, Sam is working in an undisclosed location today, so he's not with us. And this is Darren's last week at the Times. It is unfortunately my last week at the we Times. We are so sorry to lose you and uh, we thank you for your service. Uh, but we're going to celebrate today by solving a puzzle. This one is by Patrick Merrill, who was actually one of the original Wordplay writers. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, Wordplay started in 2008 and uh, was written by Jim Horn. And eventually Patrick Merrill joined him and they both quit on the same day. Oops. Yeah. So uh, I was asked to step in, and I've been doing it since 2011. Uh, but Patrick is still making puzzles for us, and he's got an interesting one uh, for us today. It's his 89th puzzle for the New York Times, which is quite a quite a feat. Um, and we're going to get started. Now, you've done this puzzle, Darren. I have, okay. yes. Okay. What was your way into the puzzle? Do you remember? Um, I thought this puzzle was a little difficult. Okay. Um, I'm generally not a Thursday solver. I'm a <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and sometimes a Wednesday solver. Right. Um, so I had a little bit of trouble getting in there, but um. Well, I, I I don't blame you. This this the the theme clues for this one were a little on the cryptic side. <laughs> yeah. It, it seems like even if you knew what the theme was, it didn't <laughs> help you a whole ton in like figuring out. Uh, what the words were involved. So. Oh, and we've got the grid kid uh, popping in. <laughs> Can hey, someone Sam. please untie me? We, you know what, Sam? I, this is this is uh, revenge for taking away my phone when we had that uh, spelling bee the other day, where I could have made a lot of really, really good words out of that. So, uh, so Sam gonna, is currently duct taped to his chair. So you're going to sit quietly while yes, we do this. Yes, exactly. Um, well, you know, we always try to uh, start with some gimmies, but I can tell you that I was completely flummoxed by one across. Card holder yeah. at a casino. It took me a while. Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, yes, of course, but I haven't been in a casino for quite a while. No, so. neither have I. This was one of those today I learned mm. clues. Uh, apparently, uh, there is a device where uh, dealers in a casino can hold more than one deck at a, a time, yeah. and that's called the shoe. Yeah, I did it's that not long that. plastic thing that they swipe cards out of. Exactly, exactly. We've got uh, EDW David saying the clues were a nightmare. Yes, it, they were very uh, tough. Uh, we're going to get into that, but thank you for saying uh, shoe for us. We, we've figured that one out. And uh, But just to give you an example, let's look at 17 across. The clue, the clue for that one is A, B, C, D, E. That, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, it, I don't know what to do with that. And the trickiest thing was in this puzzle, there's no revealer. Mm. So you can't lean on that. There was no crutch for this puzzle. So we just have to figure out what A, B, C, D, E means. And we'll come back to that. Uh, Nicole Xavier 111 is here. She says 20 across is a bug, or 20A is stomach problem, bug. Uh. Huh. That's a great guess. That's a great guess. Let's let's put that in and see if it's correct. Okay. Try maybe we'll try six down geezers with the. Well, I don't think it can be bug because obviously we have that rule. Um, plural, in the clue means plural in the answer. Yes. So most of the time, and I've been dinged on this, if not all of the time, the answer is going to end in an s. So we know that a stomach problem is not a bus unless you're running for one. But uh, I would imagine that the stomach problem, three letters for this, ending in S, would have to be IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. I had no idea. I was thinking it was like an ulcer or something. Right, I was racking yeah. my brain for stomach problems. It could be anything. It, it could be gas. I mean, that that's a, a stomach problem, too. In fact, I think it is gas. Hold on. Let's, let's take a look at that. Yeah, IBS wouldn't work because it would have had to be an abbreviation. Right, no exactly. That it was. See, I make mistakes too. All right, so let's let's try gas. 
I don't think of that so much. Just, I don't want to belabor this. Is it a, is it a <laughs> problem or is it a regular? And it's not a stomach. It's more with. of an intestinal problem. But you know what? Stomach's close enough for jazz. Okay. We have a lot of other people uh, saying hi. Hi, Chris Atkins. Uh, hi, uh, EDW David is already with us. He says one down is spam. I knew this for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I but, thought it might be spam, but yeah. I wasn't sure, and I didn't have shoe at the time. So right. I'm, Food invention of, of 1937, but that was all I got of shoe. Uh, let's see. Uh, George, Bruce Giordano is back with us. He agrees that on spam. French one says IBS. You know, we've got we've got a, a real thing here. It could be IBS or it could be gas. We're we're not really sure. <clears throat> Boodlums is with us, and he says that at least I believe it's a he says uh, 15 down is fog up what bathroom mirrors may do yes absolutely especially if you're uh, whoops fog up there you go especially if your uh, uh, suction thingy shower. doesn't doesn't work like my in my bathroom uh, let's see we have a lot of, oh right in Cicero agrees on fog up uh, French two says two down is Lobo. Let's try that. So-called king of the road. I was thinking it would be some kind of car or truck. Um, yeah, it does sound sort of like a, a yeah. testimonial. But uh, Lulerm says two down is Hamai. Uh, I think they were th probably thinking of, of a truck of some sort, too. That would be a semi, but mm. I, I don't know. Bruce Giordano says that 19 across is moo. Let's see. 19 across. Oh, there we go. That is what... Pasture sound. sound. Moo. Yeah. Now, I had ba for that at first. Oops. Oh, you put a wrong. zero. I did. That would be counted as wrong. Bet Probably. me. Um, I had ba at first, but I knew of spam. So once I had the M, moo was pretty easy. <coughs> Actually, I, I had something similar like this, and mm -hmm. I was looking at three down, and I was like, right. it must be Oreo, just because it's always Oreo. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, blank, blank, yeah. oh, has to be. Uh, unfortunately, the clue here is qualifying phrase, mm -hmm. and uh, so I would say, or so. Oops, did I type that? Or so. There you go. Now, uh, let's see. What have we got here? Boodlum says, yes, I'm a he. Thank you for clarifying. French one says, 14 across is portfolio. I think some of us have done this puzzle already, but that's great. An artist's collection is a portfolio. And now we have all of uh, the letters for four down. Oh, okay. See, if, you ha if I had those letters, I wouldn't have put in POS. I put in POS as an abbreviation for positive because it was a plus and it said briefly mm -hmm. so I thought it was an abbreviation so I had P O S here and it turns out not to be that at all it turns out to be etc but that's okay because it's okay to make mistakes yeah. so we're moving along and look what I noticed here Darren we've got A B C D E we've got absco A B C isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's those letters. Yeah, it's definitely those letters. Uh, let's see. Uh, what have, oh, I was, uh, Lou Lerm says, I was thinking of the engine, Ham I? Yes, absolutely. But uh, on this, uh, today, the king of the road, in quotes, uh, is a hobo. Uh, let's see. Nicole Xavier 111 says, nine down is swag. Hello, McDennis. Yeah, there you go. Sponsors, giveaways, uh, swag, definitely. There you go. And uh, McDendis is back. Hello, all. Uh, we He agrees on swag. Uh, Lulerm says, and Boodlum say, absconded. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E. Absconded. This is one of the last words I got just because I don't use the word abscond on a you will even now. monthly basis. Yeah. You're going to hear this in your nightmares. <laughs> so look what we've got here. A, B, C, D, E. We have this extra D here, but, you know, I think that maybe we've got the, look at the next one, F-G-H-I. We've got the mm -hmm. alphabet. We, got a, we have a G in there, too. <laughs> we do have a G in there. Um, 
what I did as soon as I got this theme is I started throwing the first letter into the first box. That turned out to be wrong. I also made the exact same <laughs> yeah. mistake. Never assume, yeah. as they say, uh, because uh, obviously we wouldn't have a word here, blank, O-D-F, blank. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It turns out that in the rules of this particular crossword puzzle, it doesn't have to be the first letter. It, as long as the letters in the clue, F-G-H-I, are in the word in that order, in alphabetical order. Right. So now we know what the theme is, let's solve the puzzle. Uh, let's and that's, see. that's what made it difficult because you knew what the letters were, but you had no idea what the word could actually be. Right. Or and what, you know, what arrangement that they were in. Exactly. Bruce Giordano's is 13 down is Howie. That was a pretty easy one for me too. TV host Mandel, everybody mm -hmm. knows about Howie Mandel. I forget what shows he's on, but I know he's on a couple of them. Uh, let's see, Nine Across, Sensation. This one was very difficult. Yeah. Got it, I'm on it. Wah I, I Wahoo. Did, I, I actually know. filled in 9, 16, and 18 for the first time. And then okay. when I saw Howie, I actually had to delete them all because I was like, it must uh, be Howie Mandel. But here okay. I had Roger. Yeah, I would have said Roger too, but apparently it's the next word. It's Wilco. So let's see, what else have we got? Hobos were called kings of the road in the 1940s, says Peregrine Took. Thank you for that. Uh, piece of information, Judith Bashan is back and she says the 22 down is serve. Gave as a meal. Hmm. Well, that, that's a possibility, but we have this G here in the next square. I'm not quite sure we're going to have an SG combination, although serve would definitely fit. It would fit the clue, but it'd yes. be weird. Like we, we suspect that that should start with an F, right? Since it may not. Oh, that's right. And since it's not the first letter, this would have to be the. It probably is here because it has to come before the G, mm -hmm. and uh, it ends in an I, which I think I find very interesting. I think that that's probably referring to a person from a country. And the only one I can think of that have the F and the G in those positions are Afghanis. And there you would have your F, G, whoops, H, and I. So mm. that's two down, right? We great, got that one. That's a great guess. All right, we're, we're smashing through this with your help, guys. Uh, let's see, Courtney Guck and EDW David says say that 18 across is a glow. Let's look at that one. Warmly lit, a glow, there you go, just, just like Darren, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go, and let's see, MC Dendis says 25 across is the pronoun in Proverbs. Yes, Proverbs with a capital P is the book of the Bible, and in biblical talk we always use the or thou. Uh, right, right on Cicero says 12 down is scone. Delicious. Yes, afternoon tea offering. I could go for one of those right about now. We don't do afternoon tea enough, nearly enough. No, no. I, we, you know, that's one thing. When we left, when we left England, became the colonies, we sort of dropped that. It's because they kept taxing it. Like, that's like, right. You know, you know. <coughs> figure also called the Creator, the King, and the All Seer. That's got to be Allah. And uh, let's see, sensation. Hmm. Still don't get it. Oh. Do you have something? No, this quiz still doesn't make sense to me. No. Okay. So Herculean is probably mighty. I I would say it's mighty. What a what a other? But yeah, Jeffrey Sachs says. Yep, Jeffrey Sachs agrees on on mighty. MC Dendis agrees on Allah. Jeffrey Sachs agrees on Allah. Bruce Giordano agrees on Ma, on mighty. Good for you guys. All right, come on. We're going to uh, we're going to smash this one. We're we're getting started. Look at this. We could we could solve all this part because we're almost there. Let's see what seven down is. Concoction. This is another one I was very confused on. Yes. I still don't quite understand. Well, you probably when you saw the word concoction, your brain probably went right to you know a mixture of things. Of course. Right. Um, in this case, a concoction means something that's made up. Oh. So the answer could be lie. Ah. It's, it's, it, that's the thing about Thursday puzzles is they don't go, they're not straight from point A to point B. They kind of go like this. 
it's a kind of a Jeremy Barramy mm-hmm. thing. It's never the first one you think. No, it, it not not on Thursdays. On no. Mondays and Tuesdays, maybe. Okay, so this one I liked. Geezers with V. That's got to be the old. And uh, five down, breast friend. A lot of people on Wordplay had, had a problem with this because they didn't understand why there was an R stuck in the middle. I also didn't understand why there was Okay, an R well, let me, that's why I'm here. Let me explain that to you. I'm, I'm like, I'm here for Funny the everyday shit. person. Like, I'm, I'm here, I'm saying, like, I don't understand either. Darren is representing. So, uh, let's see. Five down, breast friend. Now, we have the question mark. You know what the question mark clues are for, right? Uh, like puzzle or uh, oops. Uh, it means that it's not straightforward, yeah. right? That there's some wordplay afoot here. Okay, so we have the phrase "best friend," and the R stuck in there. Now, if you stick the R in there, what it becomes is "breast friend," and when you have the word "breast," B R E S T, "breast" is actually a town in France. Okay, breast Today France. Learned. Today you learn, <laughs> just like I learned about shoes. Um, and this, we have a similar rule, like we do with plurals. If the clue is in a foreign language, the answer has to be in a foreign language. Mm-hmm. So if you have, it's it's kind of a multiple play on words. You've got best friend, which is a hint at the <coughs> at the answer. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, you've got the breast hint here, which means it's French. And you want to find something in French that sort of means breast friend or best friend. And the answer here, it kind of means good friend, but some people use it as best friend. The answer is bon ami, good friend. McDennis called it. Yep. Ludlum's called it. That's awesome. Lulerm called it. Well, Lulerm called it as mon ami, but that's true. The, what, we, we have to follow the instructions of the clue. And the instructions say we need something that sort of means best friend. Uh, mon ami would mean my friend, which is close, but it's not quite there. But that was a great guess. Uh, Nicole Xavier says 23 across is sum. Well, that looks like it could be. Gross amount would be a sum. Thank you. And let's finish this one off. Leave in a hurry. Bolt. Probably. Right? You're bolting out of here next week. <laughs> okay. I am casually sauntering Strolling. out of here. You're yes. going to stroll. Okay. With all your dignity. <coughs> Eight down, rush order deadline. I want it. Today. Today, exactly. Look at you solving a Thursday puzzle. I mean, usually I want it like now. Like yes, now. right. Yesterday is, is when we want it. Uh, let's see. Peregrine Took says geography what? And I, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Uh, Budlums agrees on some. Ba- Judith Bashan agrees on Bolt. Jeffrey Sachs says eight down is today. We, there may be a bit of a lag here, so we may be slightly ahead of you. That's okay. Bay K Ray says 31 down is rap. Let's take a look at that one. Specialty of bad boy records, absolutely. If it's not a six letter answer hip hop, it's gotta be the three letter answer rap. And let's see what, if we can get 30 across. Under prohibition. Could have been R&B, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. <laughs> but, um, the, under prohibition, do you know what prohibition was? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. You know, <clears throat> I wasn't around for it either. So I, I go to plenty of speakeasies. I, okay. I, I get the gist. So if you're if something is under prohibition, what would it be? It would be dry. It would be dry. There's no alcohol there. Thank you. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Budlam says twenty six across is junk pile. That looks right to me. J K L. Now, how do we know what JKL is? Well, we've already got the PI here. And let's see, so we'll fit in pile. And we can do a deer, I like that one. Uh, Let's just type it in and we'll prove to ourselves that that's the right answer. And how do we do that, Darren? Uh, We go down and see if Yes, we work our crossings. So uh, for all the times I have said to you guys, Please work your crossings if you're not sure of the answer. Keep that in mind as you solve this puzzle. Uh, we've got doe a deer, which is a great wordplay uh, clue here. Uh, doe 
a deer sounds like the do re mi song from uh, the sound of music but we have two kinds of things here we've got a female deer and then we've got a deer with an e at the end that's like john deere yes the manufacturer right. of farming tractors equipment. farming equipment and we also have a john doe for people who are unknown oh. so the answer is john and that's why we have that semicolon there. We need two Johns here, John Doe and John Deere. Ah, right? I didn't even that think was, up on that. That was the aha moment that mm. you just had. How do you feel? <laughs> Much better. Okay. <laughs> See, this is this is the kind of thing you can get out of solving Thursday uh, crossword puzzles. I finally leave here knowing that. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Somebody with a lot of dashes in their name, RBV, says 24 across is die. Other people are saying that too. Change clothes. That's a cool one. If you change clothes, you think about changing your outfit, mm -hmm. right? But because there's that question mark there, it's not going to be exactly that. We have to think of another way to change clothes. So how, how else can you change clothes? You could change the color. You could change the color. And we do that by dyeing them. Dye. Change clothes. And the answer is dye and not dyeing because the tense has to match. Tense... Uh, present tense in the clue, present tense in the answer. Mm -hmm. Great. You guys are doing so well on this. Mona Lynn says 29. Yeah, well, that's I mostly work with them, so uh, I wasn't thinking of a land, but that would definitely be the answer. Thank you for that. And let's see. Courtney Guck knows something that I didn't know, which was uh, at 27 down, some of them, and this is what I love about solving crossword puzzles, you can learn the oddest stuff. You go to a cocktail party and you could clear a room mm. with, with the little nuggets and trivia that you learn. <laughs> and everyone will love you. So Absolutely. You do that. Well, this, this is what I mean by clearing a room. Some of them come in pineapple and soprano varieties informally. Now that informally means we want a shortened version of it. The answer happens to be ukuleles or ukes. I did not know that they come in pineapple and soprano varieties. Now all I can think of is pineapple flavored ukuleles. I did not know that they came in any other no. variety besides the ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, tolerable. Uh, tolerable would be okay, I think. And this one is pretty easy, 23 down, because it's a, one of the few fill in the blanks in this puzzle. The blank, the limit. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit, that's right. So look, we have another thing here. Now we've got M-N-O-P. Anybody get it yet? Uh, well, we've got... Uh, <laughs> and if you did, yes. you already did this puzzle. RBV no feels seen. Of this. course we see you, RBV. We, we are trying to call on a lot of people. The thing is that the comments do go by very quickly. So if we don't call on you, we've either called on you a lot already or uh, it's going by way fast and we're having trouble keeping up. So MC Dendis says 34 down is Iraq. Modern home of the ancient King Gilgamesh. That's that's correct, Iraq. I put Iran just because. I did too. A Q is. <laughs> unusual. Is unusual, so I, until I figured you, if I had Until to. you look at the clue. Sure. Right? Uh, where we have Q-R-S-T. Now, I, because I've been doing puzzles for a long time, I automatically, when I see a cue, I put a U after it. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I think, other than maybe an A that would go before it, would be an S. So we've already started that one. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. We'll see if it's right or not. Uh, let's see. Um, MC Dendis and Mona Lynn say 42 across is NSF. Let's see, uh, 42 across, NSF, bank stamp abbreviation. Let's check the crosser for that. Green one, yes, absolutely would be NAIF, and that would be the NSF, and we are halfway through. Come on, we're gonna book this, because I think this, this conference room's booked for another meeting after this. Uh, let's see, come on, let's keep going. MC Dendis uh, is carrying the ball with Heisman trophies, wow. That's a good one. M N O P Heisman T R O P H I E S. And we've got M N O P. That was a good one. Somebody uh, said 22 down, and I can't really find it right now, said uh, it, that uh, gave as a meal. 
is uh, fed to, and that is correct. Some people are saying fed up, but that doesn't quite mean gave gave as a meal, unless you've been waiting for it for a really <laughs> long time. I've, I've been to parties like that. But the answer does happen to be fed to. Let's take a look at 33 across. Who sings America in West Side Story? I knew that one. I actually feel bad. I've never seen West Side Story. Oh. I know. Darren. I know. I... I I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. You need to, as soon as you leave here, you need to go home and watch West Side Story. I don't have to go home. Broadway's right there. That's true. Uh, the answer is Anita. I did know the answer, though. So You did? Yes. Okay, good for you. That's great. That's really all that counts in the cross. That's just puzzle. cultural osmosis. Yes. A lot of people are agreeing on Nafe. And uh, Peregrine Took says square, question mark. I'm not quite sure what that means. But MC Dendis says uh, 43 across is India. 43 across, powerhouse in cricket. Absolutely. I think Peregrine um, Took is guessing it. 46 across. 46 across. Oh, okay. QRST square. It's possible. He's not just calling it squares. <coughs> okay. Or no, I would be, think whatever. so, unless he... Yeah, he could be. Uh, this one's got to be dentist, one who knows the drill. That's kind of corny, but funny. I yeah, like I was, that. I was thinking it might be like sergeant or something. So was I. But then, you know, as soon as you start to fill in a few, you can take a, a pretty good educated guess when you uh, take a look at the pattern of the letters. Okay, RBV got Anita. Good for you guys. Uh, Peregrine Took got Anita. A lot of people are saying den dentist. Uh, Judith Bash and MC Dentist both said dentist. MC Dentist is defending my lack of seeing West Side Story. <laughs> no, you don't have to watch West Side Story, he says. Musicals are yuck. Musicals are not yuck, MC Dentist. Musicals are what made this country great. We, uh, I love Broadway musicals. All right, come on, let's keep going. We're almost there. Uh, image on an Irish Euro. Did you know this one? I did not. It was very obvious in retrospect. Yes. But I have not spent fiat currency in Ireland no. recently so but it was a pretty good guess if you guessed harp right that's that's pretty reasonable Guinness uh, has just done such a good job associating it with themselves so. yeah I think so yeah, but it's not long enough for Guinness so and plus it starts with an H no I mean they've just totally co-opted the harp to right. their own brand and exactly. realize it was actually like a national symbol exactly okay they might squeak by here's an whoopsie sorry they're they might squeak by. This has got to be mice, right? Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Uh, Nicole Xavier is challenging MC Dendis and says, "You take that back." Now, come on, guys, play nicely. We're we're doing we're here for the crossword puzzle. Uh, Peregrine Took says, "Thanks for the assist." Budlums agrees on mice. Uh, <laughs> MC Dendis is is challenging Nicole, who challenged him, uh, and it says forty four across is act. Let's see. Doesn't delay. Yes, if you act, if you don't delay, you act on something. Thank you for that. Uh, French one says forty six across is squirms. Well, you know what? That is a great guess. The problem is that we don't have <clears throat> we have too many one too many squares for it to be squirms, and um, we also need. A T at the end, I think, for Q R S T. I'm going to take a guess, okay? I think it's got to be squarest. What do you think? The most square. The most square, okay? And uh, what else? People are guessing mice, and Mona Lynn says 48 down is 8. <coughs> Let's take a look at that. I'm sorry about the coughing, guys. It's big time asthma season. Staffers is definitely AIDS, A D E S. And what else? Uh, Mona Lynn says 54 across is dip. See, we can use our entries to get a little further in the puzzle by doing the crossings. Temperature test of a sort. Mm -hmm. Dip is a great guess, but there aren't too many UD words that I could think of, like here, accepted applications. Um, so, you know, you could take a dip to test the temperature of water, I guess, but let's leave that blank for a while let's see what else we can get um we'll 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 table that for now uh nicole xavier 111 says 50 down is it pence let's see small part of a pound oh you know what i thought it was that too i actually put in penny 
I'd put Pence, actually. Yeah. I have to tell you that this, I wasn't sure whether to laugh or cry about this one. The answer, because I already, I had a P and I had a Y filled in here. Yeah. <coughs> Not by themselves. I had the other end mm. answers. Um, because we have the question mark there, we're not really talking about literal money. In fact, we're not talking about money at all. We're talking about uh, animal shelters. Small part of a pound would be a puppy. I was and like, that's terrible. Someone get that puppy out of that pound. I know. And I, Someone that's love I, it. I even said that on Wordplay today. Adopt, don't shop, yeah. and spay and neuter your pets. Uh, Nicole Xavier guessed it was puppy. Uh, Mona Lynn says 54 across is sip. That's actually correct. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you take a sip of something, you are testing the temperature mm -hmm. to see if it's too hot to drink. Um, and that gives us accepted applications. I, I don't know what that one is yet. Uh, Mona Lynn says 51 down, which is over here, is Flynn of Captain Blood is definitely Errol, an old time actor, Errol Flynn. And uh, MC Dendis, oh wait, uh, Artist UK says 54 across is sip, thank you for that. Um, RBV says 61 across is April. Ah, when the lyrid meteor shower occurs. April, thank you very much for that. Unless, of course, it's cloudy and too much cloud cover and you can't see it, which is usually where I live. Is April the only five-letter month? Ah, that's a good question. Because that's I actually what went through my head. I was like, it must be a time period, and the only one I can yes. think of is... April. April. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Mona Lynn and Bruce Giordano say 67 across is miles. Standish on the Mayflower. I, I will admit I mis, misspelled that at I, first. M-I-L-E-S. I did not know who it was. <laughs> yeah, I just, that's one of the things I learned in history class, I guess, in elementary school. I, um, I kept up on Prohibition. I did not learn about the Mayflower. There you go. Well, listen, we, we all, we all retain all. different facts, and that's, that's okay. That's what makes the world go round. Uh, okay, French 1 says 49 down is spasm. Let's see. Oh, here we are uncontrolled jerk yeah absolutely i mean that could mean a lot of things but in this case it means spasm okay uh mc dendis says march has five letters which is correct mm -hmm. but in this case we had enough to guess that it was april <clears throat> uh boodlums also says march has five letters you're all smarter than me yes Congratulations. but that's okay let's not be bitter <laughs> We're, we're, we're trying to encourage people here, Darren. Um, I think that's terrific I, that you guys knew that. 65 across uh, says, uh, is Spock says Budlums. Let's see, 64, five across. TV character who said, computers make excellent and efficient servants, but I have no wish to serve under them. That would be Spock, yes. How crushing. Um, let's see. Um, Okay, RBV says, and Lulerm and French One says, uh, 55 across is purview. Oh, look at that, and it's UVW, perfect. Purview, good. This is one of those things that really teaches you to trust your brain when you see a pattern of letters. Mm -hmm. So we've got UVW, definitely. Okay, well, what about this one? 45 down to council. I had a lawyer. Or counsel. Yeah. Yes, it could be. But here's the thing. That could be a verb or a noun, counsel. Yes. And if you are of counsel, if it's a noun, uh, the, um, the answer would be advice. I, had, I have to admit, I had advise here before because I mm. really thought it was you the verb. verb yeah. yeah, but I knew it couldn't Spask. be spask. So I, I changed that to C. And it's... Fortunately, it still made sense. Okay, so a lot of people are saying advice. A lot of people are saying um, uh, <laughs> a lot of people are saying that uh, 65 across is Spock. Or they're agreeing on advice. MC Dendis says 56 down is Ilks. And the grid kid, I don't know if, if Will has kidnapped you and is typing that in. <laughs> But I saw what you typed. Okay, uh, so Ed, EDW David agrees on ilks. Judith Bashan says 49 across. 49 across is sped. Yep, we've got that one. Thank you for that. 
EDW David and RBV both say that 45 across is Ali. I liked this one, world champion athlete under two different names. Did you know that? Yeah, he changed his name from Cassius Clay. Right, but did you know he was world champion under both names? That, that was a very cool kind of Did little trivia bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he was born Cassius Clay, and when he converted to uh, Islam, he changed his name to Muhammad Ali, the greatest. Uh, let's see what we've got here. A-N-I blank E, cartoon genre. That's got to be anime. Anime, absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. 52 across, winter Wyoming hours. Huh. Well, it could be an S or it could be a D. Yeah, it's either daylight time or standard time. Exactly, and they both would go with an um, with usually a W. Daylight time is during the summer, right? Right, but I think we could get this just by using by using the crossing here. A symbol of power, at least as far I, I'm a, a Game of Thrones junkie, so I think a symbol of power would be a sword, right? Mm-hmm. So it's got to be MST. That was easy. Okay, so a lot of people are agreeing on MST and anime and sword. Let's see, what else have we got? Um, <clears throat> well, we've got fooled here. I had got here. Got, like somebody got you? Yeah, so okay. really I got got. Okay, well that's okay. It's all right to admit that. You have not done a lot of Thursday puzzles. I mean, I think that's something we should bring up. If you are pushing your way past the midweek puzzles into the Thursday realm, and that's a totally different universe because Thursday is really when a lot of the wordplay comes out, the tricky themes, you know, that's, those are the high wire acts. Um, it's okay to make mistakes, and it's, but the, the, the key is to keep practicing and keep doing it because, as I've said before, this is one of the only skills that you get better at by doing it. Mm-hmm. So don't give up. Uh, even after I can't keep my eye on you. Uh, Let's see, 68 across passes. Well, if you pass away, you die, and it has to be the same tense, so it would be dies. What else, let's see. Uh, Matt the Novice says, something is clever. Uh, Thank you, I hope hope you're referring to me or Darren. Uh, Bruce Giordano says, 66 across is ride share. Commute communally. Somebody else got that before. I'm sorry if I didn't give you credit for it. It is ride share. Very good. So that's like Uber or Lyft. Uh, let's see. Mona Lynn agrees on ride share. MC Dentist says 64 down is can. Hmm. Calgary is in it. Wow. Well, we've got that H in the middle. Now what do we do? It must be something else. It must be something else. So we've it, C-A-N would be a um, an abbreviation for Canada, but I think, and Calgary is definitely in Canada, I think it's going to have to be something else, though. So let's see if we can get that. MC Dennis says 59 down is Ezra, Poet Pound, absolutely. Ezra, thank you for that. Uh, Lou Lerm says 63 down is X-I-I, or the Roman numeral... 12, a common mm-hmm. clock topper, right? You would see that at the top of a grandfather clock. I thought it was like a spire. I was literally picturing right. a giant clock. And... I tell you, sometimes a, the clue is just the clue. Mm-hmm. The, some of them you could really overthink, and some of them are very simple. That's how they get you, because you never really yes. know. If it's <laughs> that's, how, that's how they get you. Um, now we've got OX here, <coughs> XYZ. Hmm. Not a whole lot of words with X and Y and Z. No. Well, let's see if we can get some of this. Douglas Blank, first president of Ireland. I, t- I did a Hail Mary pass here, and I took a, way- I took a big guess because I didn't know who this was. But I guessed, based on the pattern of letters, that it was going to be Douglas Hyde hmm. because Ox... I'm just putting my Irish ancestors to shame. Okay. Well, uh, that's okay. I'm sure you can make it up uh, some other way. Now, we've got 57 here. I'm getting I'm getting a usages feeling mm-hmm. from this. Accepted applications. When I read that, I immediately said uses, which is mm-hmm. too short. But usages means... Usages is to, just a way to embiggen it. Yeah, absolutely. And so let's put that in. We've got had now for fooled, which is similar to got, yeah. right? And uh, we've got oxygen, <coughs> excuse me, oxygenized. Well, I think I need some. 
But this clue is going to be X, Y, Z. And we've got that in there. So now we just have to figure out the rest of it. And we've just got this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we, before we do that, let's finish this corner. Prized athlete for short. Mm -hmm. Did anybody get that? I've seen it a couple times. A lot of people are screaming NHL at me. Hold on. 64 down. Oh, there we go. Calgary is in it. Yup, that's got to be it. You, we're thinking that we're talking about where Calgary is located. Mm -hmm. We're actually talking about something that Calgary is a part of, and they are a part of the National Hockey League. Look at that. So we've got, I'm, I'm going to bet this has got to be oxygenized, which is kind of a weird word. I, I don't Glad think of that, but yeah, it's, it's, a lot of things you don't see yeah. in the crossword very often. No, or in real life. You might see them in the crossword, but, you know, it's not like somebody would say oxygenized to you at a, mm -hmm. a cocktail party. Uh, let's see. Oxygenized, Peregrine Took uh, got that. Lulerm got usages. MC Dendis has Hyde. Uh, Nicole Xavier is complimenting RBV, but is no longer arguing with MC Dendis over musicals. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. Mona Lins is 58 down. Is Chow so long? Yep. With the I and the A there, I think that's the only thing it could be. What is hashtag cromulent bingo? Is this an oh, inside joke that I'm not a yeah. Well, you to? haven't been listening. Uh, it's almost finished. Kathy O says it's almost finished. Did I miss Cromulent Bingo? You know what, Kathy? I completely forgot about that. Uh, I'm back after a two week vacation, but thank you for the reminder. I'm going to have to fit that in somewhere. Cromulent Bingo is oh, either you. Sam or I uh, fit the word cromulent into the stream in some manner. It's usually correct. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So we're going, let's take a look at it. Um, let's see, kitchen for a chef. Uh, this well, one I definitely thought about way too more. Yeah, what or did way you too, think Way too it? much. Um, long life abbreviation. Oh, I was thinking about uh, 60 down. But, oh, uh, okay. I was like, it's gotta be, you know, like a tool or like. Right. You know. But we've got those two E's there. Yeah. So we're going to, you know what, let's come back to that. Let's finish this one. We've got May Marchers. Um, and we've got Covert Come On. I thought that was going to be Wink or something. Uh, I put Pass the first time. Yeah. Well, you know what, I think it does begin with a P because Psst mm -hmm. is sort of a co Covert Come On. And uh, the prized athlete for short is going to be an MVP which means the main marchers are vets. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, boat full. If you have a boat full, you have a load. And we are one square away from finishing this, you guys. Um, He's gonna carry us home. Right, now, the, uh, the long life abbreviation would be century, right? Everybody is, Boodlums has got it. Uh, a lot of people are getting it. And, but the kitchen for a chef, is a need, they need a kitchen. which is a perfectly cromulent word. So, and look at us, we have solved the puzzle. Now let me open that up again, just so we can look at the theme one more time. Uh, we have the alphabet broken up into different segments, and we have A, B, C, D, E for the first one, and we've got abs the word absconded. P Mr. Merrill figured out that there were words that uh, contained contiguous letters of the alphabet. Now they, they are not right next to each other, but they are in alphabetical order. So A, B, C, D, E. And then we've got A, F, G, oops, H, I. And we've got J, K, L. Uh, Heisman trophies, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, UVW and X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Um, that is the kind of thing you can expect. I, it's not quite as tricky as you would expect a Thursday puzzle to be, but I think it was still enjoyable. And yes, Kathy, I did get Cromulent Bingo in there at the last moment. Thank you for the reminder. Just for you. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I wanted to thank everybody for showing up today. Uh, we are solving, we're saying goodbye to Darren McCleary. You have done a wonderful job here and we're sorry to lose you. Um, 
and I hope everybody enjoyed solving today. We are continuing to add to our repertoire here. Uh, we've got the picture in picture. We've got a curtain hanging between there. Please tell your friends and share this uh, post with them. Let them know that they can come and do a New York Times crossword puzzle with us for free with uh, a few hundred thousand of their nearest and dearest on the internet. Um, we enjoy it. The more the merrier. It's a party and everybody is invited. Uh, so I wanted to again thank Darren McCleary for enjoy, uh, for joining us. I was going to say if you're a software developer we may have an open hand. Yes, yes. If you guys like uh, working with the funnest team at the New York Times, send your resumes in because there is an opening now. Uh, and uh, hopefully um, the grid kid, Sam Azerski, will be back next week joining us. Uh, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times wishing you a happy solve and a happy Thursday. Take and care. I am going to go see West Side Story. Yes.